Hi, all right, so we're gonna get right to the exercises that are core strengthening and back strengthening. Remember that the core is at the very center of your body. So when you're doing your core exercises, we're not just talking about the abdominals in the front, we're also talking about the back muscles and the side core muscles as well. So truly think about the core of an apple. We're gonna go ahead and lie back and start with a pelvic tilt. So lie back onto your back with your knees bent, soles of the feet flat. And you're going to put your hands on your hip bones. So I've got my heel of my hand on my hip bones, my fingertips angled towards my pubic bone. We're going to start with pelvic tilt. So inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you're going to flatten your back right behind your navel center. Then you'll inhale back through neutral and you're arching your pubic bone towards your feet which lifts your low back away from the mat. You're not pushing from your back per se, you're actually moving your hips and then bring your pelvis back to center. Engaging your core, flattening your back as you tilt your hips back towards your head and chest, back to neutral, and then arch and back to neutral. And curl, neutral, arch, neutral, two more, curl, neutral, arch and last one so this is warming up your low back and arch and warming up your core now we're going to go side to side so i want you to imagine that your pelvis is a big bowl of water and we're going to tip the pelvis to the left so as i do that my left hand my left hip is tipping down pouring the water off the left side of my pelvic bowl then back to center and now i tip over to the right side pouring the water off the right side of my pelvic bowl come back to center let's do three more each side inhale in the middle exhale as you tilt right inhale in the middle exhale as you tilt left inhale in the middle exhale as you tilt right inhale in the middle exhale as you tilt left inhale in the middle exhale as you tilt right good and then come back to center now we're going to go all the way around three times each direction inhale to prepare as you exhale engage and close your pelvic floor pull out through the pelvic canal you're going to curl your pubic bone tipping left down to your tail over to the right and curl left down to your tail over to the right one more so it's kind of a smooth rolling stretch all the way around and then pause in the middle inhale exhale and now curl the pubic bone towards your head going right down to your tail left and curl so that water image swooshing around a bowl is really helpful here to help guide your focus and the direction of your movement. So swirl the water around inside that bowl and then come back to center. Very nice. All right, so here I want you to think about the tail that extends beyond your tailbone as if you were a dog or a cat and you had a really long tail. It could be any other animal with a tail. We're gonna swing our tail to the left come back to center, swing the tail to the right. So here what we're doing is a side bend. I'm swinging left, engaging my core, coming back to the center, swinging my tail right, engaging my core, coming back to the center. Do two more each side, inhale to the middle, exhaling right, inhale to the middle, exhaling left, inhale to the middle, exhaling right, and inhale to the middle and you'll notice one side will be easier to do than the other okay now we're going to stretch out the hip flexors and a nice long muscle in your core called your psoas so we're coming up if you do not have a towel excuse me if you do not have a foam roller you can use a rolled up towel or a rolled up blanket that will work just fine i'm taking the roller underneath my bum and rolling it directly under my buttocks but it's just kind of barely above the top of the butt muscle i'm going to go ahead and hug my left knee into my chest actually excuse me it's my right knee but you can do whichever leg you want pull that knee into your chest and slowly extend out the opposite leg so i'm extending my left leg but not to straight because the priority isn't to straighten my leg. The priority is to curl my pubic bone towards the sky, 
keeping my left foot on the floor. If I straighten my leg, my leg will probably just stay suspended. Nothing wrong with that, but let's keep it down for our purposes right now. You're gonna bend the knee towards your chest, pulling your right knee more towards your right armpit as you do this and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Perfect, we're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna slide that leg in, and let's swap it out. So same thing, now you're pulling your left knee in towards your chest. You're keeping that abdominal connection of your core muscles pulling in and up, and you're reaching your right leg, not straight, but heel down with the pubic bone curling to the ceiling and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And as you're breathing, little by little, you wanna to start to release the tension at the front of your hip and make sure your hip is stretching nice and long as well. Last big breath here. So you really let go of any unnecessary tension, just maintaining the length and strength in your body. Perfect. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and press both feet down. We're going to lift the hips up, come off of our blanket, or if you have, again, a foam roller, that works. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come up onto all fours. So make your way onto all fours. We're gonna engage our core. I like to think of it as kittens inside your abdomen. I know it's a silly cue, but it tends to work really, really well. So here are your hands and knees in this nice long spinal position. I'm not trying to round my back right now or arch my spine. I'm keeping everything in neutral. Whether you flatten through the tops of your feet or tuck your toes is irrelevant. You're going to take a sec to inhale and breathe into your abdomen and really let the abdominal muscles relax. But as you do that, don't let your bones sag. So I've relaxed my abdominal muscles on the inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna pull my abdominals in towards the front of my body as if I am a cat pulling my kittens in towards the front of my frame. And then I'm gonna inhale, relax that. Exhale, I'm gonna pull those kittens in again. Really strengthening the muscles across the front of my abdomen, which actually strengthens all the way around because it acts like a belt. Inhale, relax. Exhale. Pull it in, but just like a belt, you really feel usually the front of the belt, you don't necessarily notice how much it strengthens and supports the back of your body. Two more, inhale, relax. Exhale, pull those kittens in. Last breath, inhale. Exhale. Nice. So from here, we're gonna come down onto our forearms and take our plank position, but we're gonna keep pulling our kittens in. So I'm down on my forearms. I'm inhaling to prepare. As I exhale, I'm gonna walk both feet back, coming down with my pelvis, curling my tailbone under, and I'm gonna breathe here four breaths. Every exhale, I'm really emphasizing that kitten pulling in. <sighs> with every inhale, I'm not letting go because now I need my abdominal muscles even as I inhale. <sighs> Two more breaths. Push your elbows into the mat. <sighs> One more breath. Perfect, knees down, rest a moment, come on up. You can take the weight off of your arms completely and just sit for a sec on your knees. Let's do two more rounds like that. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, you're gonna come back down onto your forearms, already get those kittens pulled in and up. Go ahead and walk your left and right foot back, four breaths here, bring your tailbone down, curl the tailbone under, pull those kittens in on an exhale. Good, three more breaths. Don't let the kittens go. Breathe into your lungs. Exhale, two more breaths. Excellent, one more breath. Good job, knees down. Fabulous, we're gonna do one more round like that. You ready? Last round, inhale and exhale. Elbows down. Pressing into your forearms. This time we're going to give a little more attention to the feet and the elbows connecting to each other. So 
Into your plank you come. Plug your feet towards your elbows and your elbows back towards your feet. There you go, three more breaths. Pull those kittens in, two more breaths. Last big breath. Excellent, come on down. If possible, you're gonna sit back in child's pose. So widen your knees, but bring your feet together. Keep pulling those kittens in, but reach your arms towards the very end of your mat, towards the top of your mat and breathe. If it's possible, you're going to walk both hands over to the right side of your mat, reaching especially through the left side body. And breathe out. One more breath here, inhale. As you exhale, can you pull in those kittens and lengthen your arm at the same time on that exhale? Good job. And let's go over to the other side. So I've got both hands over to the left side of my mat. I'm reaching with my right arm, inhaling and exhaling. And starting to notice that every time I exhale, it actually turns on my abdominals. Two more breaths. Pull those kittens in, make that a choice. Last big breath. Good job. And then come back to center. Perfect, we're gonna come to a seated position. You're gonna sit in a comfortable seated position. And from this comfortable seated position, we're going right into a side bend. So really relaxing your shoulders. We're working the side bodies here. And we're also really working on anchoring through the sits bones and the pelvis. So my right hand comes down, my left arm comes up and I'm pushing my right hand into the mat as I side bend over to my left. I'm breathing in and breathing out. <sighs> breathing in, exhale, and thinking about those kittens pulling in and up. One more breath here, breathing in, exhale, breathing out. <sighs> Good, you can feel the stretch all along the left side body, and then we're gonna come on up, change the cross of the legs, Left arm comes down, right arm comes out and up in your side, bending over here. Good, breathing in. Exhale, pull those kittens in and up. Excellent, two more breaths, shoulder down. Perfect, one more breath. Very nice, and come all the way up. Great, now we lengthen out the side body. We're gonna lie back on our back and do some marching, but we're gonna start with our marching and our feet on the floor first before we head right into toe taps. You'll see what I mean. So go ahead and lie back. All right, go ahead and put your hands on your hips again, or better yet, put your hands behind your buttocks. Put your hands behind your buttocks. Take a moment here with your shoulders relaxed to Breathe into the side and back ribs on the inhale. As you exhale, pull those kittens in, but don't tuck your tail, okay? So now we're gonna inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna raise our right leg up. Just bring the leg to tabletop. Inhale here. As you exhale, lower the right leg down. And without changing any of the weight of your body in your hands, you're going to exhale and bring the left leg up. Uh-huh. So the stability is the name of the game here. It's not that I'm squeezing with my back muscles, it's that I'm engaging my core, pulling in my kittens, lowering my leg down on an exhale. I'm gonna inhale down there. Exhale first to turn on my abdominals, and then I'm gonna bring up my right leg to tabletop. No weight shift in those hips. Inhale at the top, exhale, lower down the leg as I keep my core strong. Inhale down here, exhale, bringing that left leg up. Excellent, inhale, exhale, lower the left leg down. Inhaling down at the bottom, exhale, bring that right leg up. I know this feels really, really simple, but simple does not mean easy because you're focusing on such stability inside your pelvic bowl and using your core to create that with your breath, not your back muscles and bring that left leg down. Very good. Okay, so if for the next exercise it's too challenging, you're gonna go back to this variation that we're doing right now. 
Otherwise, right leg to tabletop, keep your rib cage anchored and then bring your left leg to tabletop. So we're not popping up through those ribs. You're also not flattening behind your navel center. You're keeping everything neutral. Inhale, as you exhale, you're gonna tap the right foot down and bring it up. No movement of your body weight on top of your hands, right? Your pelvis and your spine stay absolutely stable, including your ribs. Inhaling at the top, exhale, left leg, down and up. Inhaling at the top, exhale, down and up. Right leg, inhale, left leg, down and up. Inhaling at the top, exhale, right leg, down and up, inhale at the top, exhale, left leg, down and up, two more, inhale, exhale, right leg, down and up, inhale, left leg, down and up, one more time each side, right leg, down and up, last time left side, Exhale, down and up, left leg. Very good, and bring that down. Whew, okay. So we did marching with our feet down on the floor, starting that way, practicing not move, moving our hips. Then we had our hands behind our back or behind our buttocks, and then we did toe taps this way, right? So you can feel how the progression gets a little more intense as we get going. All right, so from here, we're gonna go right into bridging. So you're gonna inhale to prepare. As you exhale, your hands are out from under your bottom. You're going to go back to the image of the pelvic tilt. So you're gonna tilt your pubic bone all the way towards your head as if you were pouring that water all the way up to your chest. Curl the pubic bone up one vertebra at a time. Make sure your knees aren't splaying out, but they're really directed straight in front of you. Inhale, exhale, and rolling down one vertebra at a time. Let's do two more. Inhaling at the bottom. Exhale, curling up. Inhaling at the top. Exhale, rolling down. One more. Inhale at the bottom curling up inhale your inner thigh should be working here to keep those knees parallel exhale and rolling down all right so now inhale at the bottom exhale you're going to bridge up okay so we're going to march our bridge put your hands on your hip bones so you can feel if one hip dips Inhale, as you exhale, really push down on your left leg as you bring up your right leg and then put down that right leg. Pause, center your pelvis, inhale, push down into your right leg as you bring up your left leg and bring that down. So your hips should not be moving at all. <sighs> Alternating marches here. <sighs> You're not resting onto your elbows. You're curling your pubic bone to the ceiling, using the hamstrings and glutes, especially of the down leg, right? You're pulling in your kittens to have that core control. Yes, good. One more each side. Press down on the left as you bring up the right and push down on the right as you bring up the left. Both feet down and then roll down one vertebra at a time very nice okay so from here we're gonna go ahead and mm, upper body float okay so you're gonna do a gentle press up you're gonna lie on your stomach your hands are going to go directly under your shoulders your forehead is just resting on the mat to start make sure your legs are long you don't need to have your feet together, but I don't want them any wider than your mat. So just a little bit wider than hip width apart is perfectly fine. Palms are directly under your shoulders. Shoulders are rolled back. Put your attention on your pubic bone and really anchor the pubic bone into the mat, but don't tuck it. See if you can just practice anchoring it down like it's a, a weighted, like an anvil, and you're just pushing down, that's all. All right, inhale to prepare, toes are long. As you exhale, you're gonna draw shoulders and shoulder blades down as you float up through the forehead, your throat, and your chest, shoulders as well, 
while pulling in those kittens. So you're not letting go of the kitten connection as those legs come up, excuse me, as your upper body comes up and then come right back down again. Inhale, exhale, feeling your pelvic floor and those deep kittens pulling in and up. So those that deep abdominals pressing into your palms as your chest comes up a little bit away from the floor, you're increasing that deep core connection where those kittens pull into the front of your spine. So you're lifting your chest and lifting your core at the same time and come down. If it feels better for you to float your legs up, as you lift your chest and your core, go ahead and do that, but I'm looking for long legs right? Not wide legs, but long, straight legs and come down. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> pubic bone down, engage your musculature from your core and then float the chest and coming down. Last time, inhale, exhale, <sighs> strong core as you come up. Don't worry about high, think about reaching long through your crown, long through the tippy toes and strong through those abdominals and then coming down. Good job. Okay, we're gonna press up. And we're gonna come right into a side plank. So you're gonna press your right elbow into the mat. You've got both knees down. Inhaling in this position, you want to make sure that that elbow is pressing down into the mat. As you exhale, you're going to come up, reach your top arm overhead, and then come back down again. Inhale, exhale, pushing down into the elbow to lift that bottom waistline. But remember, it's not just your arm, it's that whole midsection, those kittens, right? So you're pulling that up. That's that transverse abdominus connection that's lifting, lengthening the top side body as you're pressing down into the bottom elbow and lifting your waist and come down. Don't forget to push into the knee, the bottom knee. Two more. Inhale, exhale, press down into the bottom knee. <sighs> Lift up through your core. Reach long with that top arm. Perfect. And coming down. Last one. Inhale, exhale, <sighs> press down. Feel your abdominals, lift your hips up and your waistline push down into your bottom knee. Perfect, and then come all the way down. Let's go to the other side. Last time, last side. All right, so I'm here on my side, pushing into my knee, pressing into my elbow. My elbow is directly under my shoulder. My arm is ever so slightly turned out. So I'm gonna to inhale to prepare. Exhale, pushing down into my knee, lifting up and reaching long. Good, inhale, coming down. Exhale, pressing up again. Two, nice. Keep pulling down through the underarm and lift up that bottom waistline and come down. Two more three, you got it, and down, last one, and four, excellent, and come all the way down, all right, we're going to finish with our side bends, and then you're done, that's it, so here we go, this time we're going to go left hand down, right arm up, side bend over, so kind of stretching out what we were just working, Remember to keep engaged across the abdomen where those kittens are and inhale, come up. And side bend over to your right side, lengthening through the left arm and really anchor the butt cheek of the extended arm down so you can open up that rib cage. Good, come on up, change the cross of your legs. Let's go over to our right side first lengthening through the left arm, activating through the deep core and come back up one more time. Side bending over, strong center, beautiful. And then come on up and that's it. That's your daily practice. Keep it up and I know you'll feel stronger very, very soon.